Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome back to our webinar talks. Today with us are three guys that are coming from G4S and Igigi Startup. Today we are going to talk about marketing platform that is able to detect approaching shoppers and interact with them. More about Igigi and about this marketing flat platform will be told by our guest, Mr. Gradimir Markovic from G4S, Vuk and Nikola Nenadic that are coming from uh, Igigi startup. So, hello guys, welcome to our webinar. Hello, dear Sage. Thank you for this introduction. Hello, everyone. Hope all is well. Thank you all for attending this webinar and presentation. First of all, let me introduce my team and myself. My name is Gladimir Markovic. I'm coming from G4S and working on position of strategic account manager. Uh, also besides me, there is also my dear colleague, Vuk Purko. He is integrated security system engineer in G4S and our dear partner, Mr. Nikola Nenadic, founder of Pygmy Titan and creator of Igigi. Well, the topic is very interesting today. We at G4S are always uh, striving for the new solution in the security industry, for innovations, for some technical solutions. And we are always doing our best to stay at the top. Well, there is uh, really a lot of new exciting products of the security market, many improvements in it, and there is always new opening new possibilities and new solutions. This time and today, it is a very interesting synergy of security and marketing. Also, we are using a product with main applications in the actually in the marketing industry, but and we are applying its great features in the security solutions. So, Mr. Nenadic will tell you something more about this product itself and its characteristics. And while my colleague Wook and myself will tell you more about. Uh, application of Igigi technology in security industry and their implementation. So let's have active communication and all the questions are more than welcome. Please post their comments and we will try to answer them immediately. Mr. Nenadic, the floor is yours, so not to prolong the story, let's meet the famous Igigi. Mr. Nenadic, okay. please. Uh, hello, uh, everyone, and uh, thank you, Gradimir, for this uh, intro intro introduction. Uh, my name is uh, Nikola uh, Nenadic. I'm the founder of Pygmy Titan Startup, which made Igigi. And uh, to today, I will make a presentation what Igigi is and what Igigi can do in marketing, but also some very interesting stuff that we are working right now with G4S on how to use our technology in uh for for the purposes of uh sec sec security industry so uh let's start next slide please okay so basically uh, what we will uh uh talk about is how what are the new systems for intelligent sec sec security of physical spaces and how we can automate communication with humans in physical uh, spaces and we were uh, talking about the new generation of uh, products which are based on on AI and on uh, computer vision and uh, basically we are at the dawn of the new age new age in which computers can see can understand their in environment and uh, react to happenings in their in, in, uh, environment, but also can interactively communicate with humans. And with, with such superpowers, all kinds of robots can free people from simple tasks in order for them to focus on things that really matters and things that uh, require full human in, in uh, intelligence. I am uh, talking uh, about applications where you have a person that is working on 80% of very simple tasks, like answering very simple questions or telling people simple information, and only 20% of their time they are actually solving some problems or hel helping people to, to, uh, uh, to, to go deeply into solving their problems. And platforms like Igigi can help to cover that 80% of time 
for which you currently have people doing simple tasks. Igigi is automatic platform, uh, which is basically used for communication with humans in physical spaces. Igigi use computer vision and AI to uh, detect people in space in front of Igigi and uh, interactively communicate with them in a consistent manner. When I say consistent manner, I think always the same. So Igigi never tires, it works 24 uh, slash seven and it communicates with people consistently. On this slide, you can see some of the images of our uh, installations in stores, basically where we use Igigi to communicate with shoppers. And in stores, we are basically, Igigi is a marketing platform, but it also interviews shoppers and uh, collect uh, information from shoppers. On this slide, you can see application in the shopping mall where we use Igigi to interview visitors to understand their needs. Igigi it, itself is a cartoon character. And the trick with, with Igigi is that uh, it, he uh, reacts to humans. So when you up, up, approach Igigi, he will wake up. When you look in, at, at Igigi, he will smile. He will get sad if you don't look at him. So he reacts to your, uh, basically, he, uh, reacts to you what you are doing in, in front of Igigi. And in order to do that, we are basically using 20 different uh, ex ex expressions. So Igigi can be sad, can be happy, can, can be foolish. So there are a lot of options of how we can transfer uh, ex ex expressions to humans and to have an interactive communication based on empathy. And what is interesting, uh, this communication with cartoon character works. So we had a lot of projects in, 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 uh, in uh, uh, stores. We have over 5.5 million of shopper uh, interactions with, with Igigi, and we consistently show that Igigi has much higher in engagement com compared to other technical systems that you can have in the stores. So when you com compare it to digital signage, when you compare it to uh, application, uh, reaction to people to communication with Igigi is basically uh, engagement of shoppers is much higher. And on average, it was two and a half times higher and it was what is interesting, really, it was even higher than communicating with humans, because when you have to communicate with humans, there is some kind of obstacle because human tend to judge you or you think that the human on the other side can judge you. Why uh, Igigi as a cartoon character, he will not judge you. He is cute, he's uh, empathetic, but he's a cartoon character. So it's, it's kind of safe to communicate with the cartoon character. And, and that is something that we proved in the field and, and what, what really works. So basically what Igigi can do, uh, first of all, Igigi can uh, com communicate with humans by uh, using uh, ex expressions and text and graphics and all kinds of features that you can display on his display. But also Igigi can observe uh, human uh, be, be behavior in front of Igigi and it can, uh, he can ad adjust communication to the humans. And also he, by uh, observing humans, he also, uh, Igigi is uh, co co collecting data uh, about what humans are doing in that physical space. So uh, besides communication, you are also getting a lot of data, how many people pass by, uh, did they look at Igigi? Uh, did they communicate it with Igigi and other stuff? And, and the last thing, uh, you, you can also use Igigi to interview persons, basically to ask persons some questions and to get their uh, res res response right there in the physical uh, space. So if you are talking about the information, what Igigi can do, uh, first of all, Igigi can count number of people in the room at any moment. Uh, also, it uh, collects information about the traffic, how people move, what are their 
uh, patterns of movement, what are the corridors and frequency of movement. Then uh, you can measure uh, dwell time, meaning for how long people are staying at some parts of that room or for how long people are staying in front of Igigi. Uh, also, Igigi can estimate age and gender for each person that is looking uh, in, at, at Igigi screen. So we also know, uh, know the demo, uh, demographics of the people. And um, we can get information if, if the person actually read the message. So when you display the message or the question on Igigi screen, you have a feedback if the person actually saw it. So it's a kind of a smart display when you know if anyone is looking at, at the uh, uh, display. And also Igigi is uh, co 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 collecting information from the person's answers to interviews, answer to all kinds of questions. And basically, if you're talking about what are use cases for Igigi, uh, first of all, it is very useful when you have to communicate with a big number of people. Like you have a hall, you have a passageway, you have entrance of the building, and there will be 10,000 people walking down that hall, and you need a system which will transfer them a message, a notification, or that will ask those people something. And uh, Igigi is uh, great there, uh because it works 24 slash 7 never gets tired and it communicates consistently uh, also it can be used for uh pro pro providing basic information to visitors and to uh providing basic uh, let's say answers to frequently asked questions and similar stuff uh, it can be used for marketing and sales and also what is interesting, and that's what we are working with uh, uh, G4S, it can also be used as a tool for a physical sec sec security because if you know what is happening in the space, you can use that info information. So uh, Igigi basically use computer vision and neural networks to uh, detect shoppers in the space in front of Igigi. And it's done in real time on Igigi it, it itself. That means that the platform is fully compliant with the GDPR because no personal information is transferred into the system. So everything that is done is done on Igigi itself and no other information is transferred into the system. So basically it's, it's completely automated. And next slide, please. And also we are very proud that in uh, 2021, Igigi was uh, 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 awarded one of the uh, recognized, globally recognized prices for the uh, in, in industrial the, the design of the, of the product. So that's all from me. Thank you. Thank you, dear Nicola, for a great presentation. But uh, let's now talk about the security aspect of, of Igigi. I'm sure that you are already, everybody have a conclusion how and why Igigi can be used in security, but let's give you the book. book you're a security engineer. So how are you seeing Igigi in this security industry right now? Well, the Igigi has a great potential because it's hardware used for the marketing uh, analysis of people in front of it can also be used for security functions. It observes space and detects persons, and that's basically yeah. a main feature for any security system. It has very high re reliability of detection because it is not uh, based on uh, just monitoring if there is a motion in front of it. It has to detect if that motion is caused by a person. So it has a great potential for use in indoor security uh, applications. Uh, its great functionality is that is by its uh, marketing based nature, it is placed in uh, places where there is uh, much uh, yeah. traffic of people in front of it. And this security feature can be used outside working hours where we don't expect uh, people in front of it to be customers, but potential bar burglars. Uh, as Nikola said, in its main operation, it is not doing any recording or transferring data from itself to the outside world, but we can use and apply 
uh, its camera and its uh, detectors to transfer the video from it in case of an alarm when we arm the system to uh, set it to treat uh, persons in front of it as a potential trespassers. Uh, one great feature is that uh, besides detecting, IGI can interact with people, so we can use uh, inbuilt speaker to play pre-recorded messages, informing people that they're in a restricted space, and uh, we can also use uh, this audio function to connect to our security operators to have a full live audio intervention and in that way uh, enhance efficiency of the security system. Also one great opportunity to use Igigi is in the cases of emergencies when we need to route many people which are, which are not uh, familiar with the space they're in to safety by uh, providing audio guidance to people to evacuate safely. And this and many other features can be efficiently used in many, many applications. For instance, in banking and retail, we can uh, use a gig for assistance and to provide directions to visitors. As Nicholas said, that is one function of uh, which is uh, so far uh, done by physical security guards and it needs not to be done by a person because those informations are mostly repetitive information. Where is the desk, where is the bathroom, etc. Uh, also a positive uh, security and also business information is uh, counting people and analyzing traffic because we can use uh, pattern information we get from that for security purposes to know if some behavior is out of the ordinary and proposes a security risk. And all that is uh, during the working hours and outside the working hours, the Ikigi equipment is fully dedicated to security services, providing uh, additional verification if there is an actual security risk or not. Right. For factories and office spaces, uh, it could be used as employees check in uh, in a form of advanced uh, time and attendance terminal. It could be possibly used for interviewing employees before entering a hazardous area as a double confirmation if the health and safety procedures have been met fully. Uh, it could provide navigations and directing people where to go. Uh, covering uh, low traffic entrances uh, in situation, for instance, if you have an entrance that is managed during the business hours, but after business hours, no one is there. And you have, for instance, uh, a truck driver who is late with his delivery and he, in usual, uh, would not be met by physical security or the physical security would have to stay after hours to meet him we could use an automated platform like Igigi to cover that entrance and provide additional information and guidance to, to that delivery. In shopping malls, Nicola mentioned uh, all the main features which could be used for the uh, marketing people, but uh, for us, for security, additional benefits is that, as I said, it is usually placed in the high traffic flow positions. It could be used for directing evacuations, for uh, setting, uh, sending people out of the, the shopping mall after hours. And uh, it could provide that information with much greater patience than the actual physical yeah. security. Great, great, it sounds great. And as you all hear, it's not only ordinary security, we can use the gigi for the health and safety information and for the fire safety information so it is providing a lot of opportunity they can replace main guarding they can give you all the information and also working 24 hours so it's a great device so now do we have uh, we have a question here the question is what is the average distance it can detect the person 
So Nicola, Nicola more yeah, than me to answer yes. Yeah. yes, okay. So uh, with the current sensor that we are using, it's eight meters. Uh, with the more powerful sensors, it can be longer because it's basically a software feature. So currently we can we can do it at, at eight meters and we can uh, detect the face at four meters. Yeah, so we have another question. So eight meters is the answer for now. Uh, the other question for Nick, what is about the low visibility situations for EDD? So we can basically uh, easily change the sensor. Currently, we are ex ex experimenting with the Sony uh, iMix sensors for low uh, vis vis visibility uh, situations. And basically, if the sensor can do, our software will do it. So if we have a decent, if we have a decent uh, image on the sensor, software can uh, do it. Also, we if you are using uh, IR sensor, you also can have a uh, uh, night image. Okay. Uh, I may, if I may add, yes. uh, maybe this low visibility is not such a big issue for Gigi because its main positioning would be indoors. With mm -hmm. basically, there will always be some level of lighting mm -hmm. sufficient for for its camera. But, yeah. Maybe for the smoke or something like that. So. In that situation, also can. In situations yeah. from uh, compromised visibility, yeah. Yeah. not so sure. The, that is extreme situation, and not a not, uh, usual application. Uh, uh, so. Yes, but uh, IGIGI is a software-based thing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if someone turns off the, the uh, light, you can have uh, information about it. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, so you, that's you, also okay because you yeah. you you will have uh, information that something is happening. Great, Nikola Gradimir and Vuk, thank you very much for this uh, nice presentation. Uh, I have one question from my yeah. side, if I can please, ask. Please, please Maybe please. that's the question for Nikola. So uh, you mentioned about the benefits of uh, Igigi. Uh, what do you consider as a most important benefit of Igigi comparing, let's say, to standard conventional uh, products? Yes, yeah, so, so basically uh, the main thing is it can uh, replace uh, employees in some very simple situation. So in that case, if Igigi can do very simple job, then the employee can concentrate on more complex things. And in that case, the level of service will be, and the quality of service will be much, much higher. So even if you have, when you have a people at the place, Igigi can take over a simple communication and then switch to a person for a complex things. And also if you have to uh, inform 10,000 people today, or if you would like to interview 500 people, you know, for a person, it's, it's, a, uh, it's a burden. It's not an easy thing to, to uh, do. Person gets tired. You know, have to go to the bathroom, what, uh, uh, whatever. But Igigi can do those simple things very, very easily, and that's the main benefit. Nicola, thank you very much for uh, your answer. Maybe uh, if you can share with us what is the next step in Igigi development. Okay, so basically, we, we are very actively working with the uh, G4S on uh, alarm feature. Or, or on sending videos in case of alarm, on integrating better image sensors, so you can we, we can uh, increase the uh, distance. We are using neural networks, and basically Igig is uh, defined by software. So there is a really a lot of things you can do. Even if the person is carrying something, software can can tell you what the person is carrying and similar stuff. Okay. Very nice to hear that. And of course, we expect this product to be developed and of course, integrated with other solutions. So, Gradimir, Vuk and Nikola, thank you very much for this kind of presentation. We don't have any other questions. So, if we have other questions that are remain unanswered, so feel free to uh, write us and uh, we will proceed the questions to our presenters. So, thank you very much for attending today's webinar. See you soon. Goodbye. Thank you, Lucy. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.